Hello! I wanted to do a review on ColourPop lip glosses and lip liners that I got. They have awesome stuff on there for a good reasonable price and good quality. I got really into like lipsticks when I visited my home in Florida because I met up with my high school friend and I was like, can you teach me how to be a girl? And she's like, yeah. So we went to the mall and bought lipstick and I was like, I want more. I went on ColourPop and I got addicted. And I was like, I want to try all these colors and they're only $4 a piece. Whew. I don't want to swatch these, like put a lip liner and then lip gloss over it. Eh, I want to do it differently. I'm gonna lip swatch the lip liner on my lips individually, then the lip gloss, and then I'm also gonna swatch me my hands so you can yes. see it that way too. And all my friends are here! Anna? Enjoy! It's called Creature. Okay, so it's really easy to apply. It's really creamy, it's really soft. I'm trying to figure out how can I get more out. How am I supposed to sharpen this? Because this thing right here is plastic. The bottom doesn't twist, it doesn't push. I'm trying to take it apart. Is there like a manual on this? There's not, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. That looks weird. I don't know how to lip swatch. Oh, I should just put it on my face, right? Just lip swatch my face. <laughs> Hitch. <laughs> I'm not really good at putting lip liner on. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. This is the entertaining part. This one's called Wet. Mm, I like this one. I was gonna say I like that one. <laughs> BFF2. I barely see this color on me. It's like a very subtle color. And this last color is called Tootsie. I can't see these colors on my face. These are the swatches. This one is called Trap. I noticed with these lip glosses is whenever I take pictures with them, they look purple, especially when I do flash. It'll look like this, but then when I use flash, it's like a pink purple, it's so weird. This is kind of like a muted purple gray. They're very soft. It feels like, you know the NYX matte cream lip glosses that they sell at like Ulta? That's what this feels like. I don't even feel it on my lips right now. It's like powder. It dries fast and it's matte. I'm wiping it and it's not coming off. I've worn these a couple times to work already. I always have to reapply after I drink out of a cup or a straw and after I eat. I don't think this is as long lasting as other lip glosses that I've tried. Also with this lip gloss, what I've noticed is that, I don't know if it's because my lips are just naturally wrinkly, but my lips, they feel so dry. I don't want to put a lip gloss over it because you know, it'll ruin the formula and sometimes it like kicks it up or like it messes up the whole formula. So sometimes I put chapstick first and then I put this over. It helps a little bit, but there's something in this formula that dries it up so that it'll be matte. Even though I put the chapstick under it, it still feels dry and looks dry. And these are also kind of hard to remove. I have to use Vaseline to get this off. This one is called Beeper, what the applicator brush looks like. It's not flat, it looks like a, you know, like a regular lip gloss applicator. This one is called Kapow. What I really like about these lip glosses is that they are never sticky. After I applied it and it's still wet, it's not sticky. When it dries, it's not sticky. I really love this. This one's called Limbo. What my lovely friend June pointed out. Usually I wait for this to dry before I start talking or smiling because this happens. It's so attractive. It doesn't take a long time to dry. And then this one is called Lax, like laxative or maybe LAX. Another thing about this lip gloss is that, for example, after lunch, if I eat something, it's not a good idea to reapply. You have to take it off completely and then put it on again. Because usually I go to lunch like what, four hours, five hours after clocking on and it's already dried on your lips. So if you reapply over that, it's going to kind of peel off. So it's best to just take it off completely and then apply it again. Yes. Check out ColourPop, it's amazing. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Thanks for watching. 
Bye bye. Okay, so I'm in the middle of taking off the lip gloss and I feel something in my teeth. I don't know how it got in there, it's so gross.